Nintendo's 2024 is looking utterly insane. So many big things appear to be going down that I am more excited heading in to next year than I was heading into this year, knowing that Tears of the Kingdom was on its way. Oh man, this is so exciting. I just, you know what? We're just going to get into it, but before we do... Oh, it's not what you think. We're actually going to go over a couple of news stories quick because I want to make sure that we're keeping up to date with what's actually happening around. We've got timestamps down below. You can skip to wherever you're interested in. The first one is about Tears of the Kingdom itself, the aforementioned game I was excited about coming into 2023. It piled up another Game of the Year award. This one coming from Edge Magazine. Now, I mentioned another because it's actually won around 30 Game of the Year awards from various outlets, including IGN, Game Rant, Game Informer, The Guardian, Giant Bomb, Polygon, and yeah, a whole bunch of others. Pretty exciting for the Zelda team. Congrats to them. Yeah, it's about half of the sort of awards that Baldur's Gate 3 won, but hey, you know what? It's at least getting awards deservedly so. This next one is, well, I guess bad good news, if that's even a thing. So Ubisoft was hacked over the last couple of days, a big breach going in there, and it looks like Ubisoft was able to remove access from this bad faith actor before anything was taken. Reportedly, they were trying to get 900 gigabytes worth of data. They were targeting specifically Rainbow Six Siege. And while this might not seem like Nintendo related, it's just with the recent stuff going on, it would have been interesting interesting if this data would have got out there and if there would have been any game data and up future update data and would these outlets that were grandstanding over Insomniac have covered that leaked game data even though this included private user data that was going to be in this leak this time. So the leak isn't going to happen because they were unable to actually get the files because access was cut off before the giant 900 gigabyte thing could even finish downloading. But Still, it's just a reminder that this stuff's going to keep happening. It's going to keep happening. There's too many bad actors out there. And uh, I'm interested to see how the game industry covers this stuff moving forward, considering, well, some of the uh, issues that we talked about in the video yesterday. Now, we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers, so I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. And keeping up our theme with videos recently, uh, hey, if you're subscribed to the channel, you can actually head down into the comment section uh, and have a chance to win a $5 eShop gift card. All you're going to have to do is use a particular word in your comment. No, we're not taking one word comments, by the way. You need to give me a complete sentence. In fact, let me tell you what you need to talk to me about. What is your least favorite Zelda game and why? Now, in describing what your least favorite Zelda game is and why, you're going to have to use the word of the day, Nobby, in your comment. Again, comments with just that word aren't going to count for the giveaway. You must actually tell me what your least favorite Zelda game is and why. And we'll announce the winner of the $5 eShop giveaway right around Christmas. Now we get to the fun stuff. We get to talk about Nintendo's 2024. Look, I know that there's not a lot of crazy things announced from Nintendo for 2024. In fact, we're not going to go over all the stuff for 2024. We've done this before, but I will mention some of the big stuff. So we obviously have the thousand year door, right? That, that's a big announcement. We don't technically know when it's going to come. It's just announced for next year. We also have something like Princess Peach Showtime. That's actually a brand new game. Uh, one of the only, actually, currently the only brand new game Nintendo has announced for next year. And then, yes, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. They're not even calling it Dark Moon at this time. Uh, releasing sometime in the summer of next year. They at least gave us a season for that. So those are probably the three most exciting things we know about heading into next year. Now, when I say we know, this is just stuff that's confirmed from Nintendo that they actually announced. There are other things that we think are going to happen next year due to the rumor mill and, well, just basic expectations. And let's first get the biggest thing out of the way. It is widely reported Nintendo will be launching brand new hardware next year. Now, again, we can still call this a rumor. Hasn't been announced, although hardware has been confirmed by Nintendo that they're working on something. The interesting part here is when we look at this Nintendo Switch 2 situation, what games are going to become? I mean, look, a launching new hardware itself is already exciting. I know I've seen some of the comments recently. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's Nintendo's next generation hardware. It's just a placeholder name. That being said... Let's look at some of the stuff that's been rumored with it. One of the earliest rumors actually came from Andy Robinson, who put out there that he heard it's going to be launching with a 3D Mario game. Now, 
That's not shocking considering the last one we got was all the way back in 2017 and it sold over 25 million copies, the best-selling 3D Mario game of all time in Super Mario Odyssey. So the question is, what's this game going to be? Are they going to make an Odyssey 2? I mean, sequels haven't always done well in the Mario franchise, but also it's been so long, maybe it could do well. Also, they've never had a 3D Mario sell as well as Odyssey, so they want to keep the Odyssey branding going, exciting people who... Got Switch in year one. I don't know. That's possible. It could also be a completely new direction. People have thought this might be open world, especially in wake of the open world uh, sort of playground attempt they did with Bowser's Fury being attached to Super Mario 3D World. So there's a lot of hope here for a 3D Mario game, and I would say it's a pretty safe bet. Nintendo essentially launches systems with either a Mario or a, well, Zelda game. And look, we just got a major Zelda game and they don't really launch, you know, home consoles with a side scrolling Zelda game or a top down Zelda game. So there's that. We just got a side scrolling Mario game in Super Mario Wonder. So really it's 3D Mario that's next up on deck and that's what I would suspect is going to be the launch game for the system whenever it comes out. But those aren't the only rumors that we have for next year. What about another Zelda remake or remaster? Oh, you guys know we've been talking a lot about this stuff. Nintendo keeps bringing up Ocarina of Time all the time. We're having, you know, hiring posts at Bandai Namco that says a 3D action game remake remaster is in the works. Uh, that is, that's like fact-based stuff that's happening. Then we have Zippo and others out there, the anniversaries and a whole bunch of stuff. And the fact that Nintendo themselves said they would actually, this is a few years back, they said their goal is to have something Zelda release every single year. So... With that being the case, it should be expected that something Zelda happens next year. It could be another indie game thing like we got in the past with Cadence of Hyrule. Could be another spin-off like we got with Hyrule Warriors and Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Or it could be something else entirely. We've got Link's crossbow training in years past, Tingle Games. Who knows? Chances are it's probably a remake or remaster. We had a remake technically with Link's Awakening back in 2019. Then we had a remaster with Skyward Sword HD dropping last year. So now the question is, what's this year? And uh, we don't know. So uh, we'll find out for 2024. Obviously, Tears of the Kingdom was in 2023. I'm really excited to see what this is as it's highly likely to be coming. It could be a cross-generation title as well. That might excite some people. Maybe it's Switch 2 exclusive because it's, it's that insane. We don't really know what's going on behind the scenes. We just know the rumors and reports and the speculations out there and Nintendo themselves keeps bringing up Zelda, keeps bringing up some of the classic games like Ocarina of Time. So we'll just have to wait and see. Now, another rumor that has sort of fell by the wayside but could really have prevalence next year was the Donkey Kong game. So that rumor spun up a, you know, about two and a half years ago, but the rumor stated you know, that it, they're not really even sure if it's a side-scrolling Donkey Kong game or a new one, only that Nintendo is doing it internally. So it's not being made by Retro Studios, it's being, which I guess is a Nintendo-owned studio, you could say internal with that, but we know they're working on a different game we're going to talk about in a bit. So it sounds like Nintendo's Mario team, potentially, a part of their Mario team, might have spun off to actually work on this Donkey Kong game, and that's been like the only rumors and stuff we've had around it, with no one really saying it was coming anytime soon. Well, next year, we have the Donkey Kong theme park opening up. There's also the potential of a Donkey Kong spinoff movie getting announced, because after all, look, we just had the Zelda movie announced, but Illumination's got to be working on something. Are they jumping right into you know another Mario movie? Are they going to do a spinoff movie like Donkey Kong? We don't really know there, so that's something that we'll have to touch base on at a later time. But with Donkey Kong getting some push next year with the theme park expansions, it's highly possible, maybe even likely, that even as soon as the February Direct, they could announce a brand new Donkey Kong game. Now, this would assuredly be on Switch, probably on Switch 2 as well, whether through backwards compatibility or just you know, having an up res port or something, but I'm just really excited to see what that is. And that's going to add to an already jam packed year. And then we also have the expectation. This is the, the big, great expectation. Look, Pokemon, right? All right. We've got DLC this year, likely means new game next year, probably another remaster. It could be another legends game. Potentially could we, could it be another BDSP type game? Could it be a uh, brilliant diamond, shining pearl? in case you guys didn't get that reference. Uh, is it another Let's Go kind of game, or is it the much-expected-to-happen Pokemon Legends Kiram or something like that? Because, after all, Legends Arceus looked to be a pretty big success. It sold, like, 14 million as a single-game release. They got to be very, very happy with that. And on top of that, it was widely praised. It's one of the highest-reviewed 
Pokemon games in like nearly 20 years. So clearly you think they're going to follow that up with another one. So we'll have to wait and see. That could be what's announced next year. But people are expecting that to also be announced in February because Pokemon Day and the celebrations around that and the live streams they do for that often include Pokemon game announcements. So that is what we're expecting, although we don't exactly know what it's going to be, right? Probably not a new generation. It'd be, it'd be a little strange if they went right into a new gen. That might be something for next year. But I don't know, just throwing it out there that something's going to be going down and some sort of Pokemon game madness is getting announced in February. Then we have this one, and this one's also got a lot of rumors, but it's also an announced game. Metroid Prime 4. Look, whenever this game comes out, there is an opportunity for it to be a game of the year contender. And I am really curious if they're going to drop this next year. Uh, look, there's all my personal sources on this that I've talked about in the past. It's just a couple, and I haven't heard from them in a while. We had Special Nick talking about how like their segments, at least segments in the game, that are extremely massive and open, reminding him of Halo Infinite, which is technically an open-world game. Does that mean this is an open-world game? Don't really know. But what is known, though, is that Metro Prime 4 has been in the work for a number of years, even if they literally rebooted development when they announced they were, like that was the first day they rebooted it, which clearly that would have been before them. It, it's now been in development for like three, four years. So it's widely expected we're at least going to see it next year, let alone could it come out. It still could be a 2025 game, of course, but a lot of things seem to be indicating that 2024 is when we should expect to see this game. Clearly had a lot of its development done on Switch, so I would not... It was also announced for Switch, so I would fully suspect it's going to come there. Could be another cross-gen title, but I'm really, really excited about that. And that just sets up what I believe is one of Nintendo's greatest years in gaming coming ahead. And that's insane. If we think about some of the amazing... 2017 and these massive years we've had... This is without even considering what other companies might be doing. You know, what, what's Monolith Soft doing? Are they going to drop a game next year? You know that their games are literally uh, incredible. One of the greatest studio acquisitions in history, in my honest opinion. So, look, there's a lot of stuff that could come. It could be another Kirby game. Hey, is it time for another Forgotten Land? What about a new Luigi's Mansion? Those are also possibilities as well, but that's more so pipe dreams rather than current rumors and speculation that's happening on the internet but hey anything is possible and it really does look like with this lighter lineup announced for 2024 you might go man with what we have announced it's probably going to be a pretty weak 2024 until you remember nintendo's likely launching a system so a lot of things are just being sort of held until that system's announced and then the floodgates are going to open and i can't wait I am so excited for 2024. And you know what? If none of this stuff happens, well, I guess we'll just be excited for 2025 instead. But uh, 2024 is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. It looks like we have a really light year at the moment. But just wait. Give us a few months into next year, and I think everyone's mind is going to flip on what's happening. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Whew. Let's go ahead and catch you in the next video.